Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. Thought we should do a little bit of an update. <sighs> We've put a pause on better breeding for now because our males are being very stubborn and beating up all the females, so we're going to give them some more time to be conditioned. Our Daphnia culture crashed. I say this, but we don't really know what happened. Water parameters are fine. There's lots of stuff living in there. It's just all the Daphnia are miraculously gone. I don't know. So luckily we had some Daphnia culturing outside in a bucket. So we threw some more in there and we'll see what happens. All the babies are doing fine. Here is our betas. They are five weeks old this week. And they are doing really, really well. There's lots of blues and greens and reds. We have one that's cellophane with turquoise metallic. They're doing really, really well. We've got them in here with a couple of the mystery snails. You can see their zucchini. I fed them this morning. And they're just living the life. We are preparing to jar them because we're noticing little nips in their scales and they're starting to flare and raise their perculums at each other and it's just time to jar, which is ridiculous at five weeks, but what can you do? Our guppies are doing good. All a million of them. Lumpy's doing well. And then we have our adult guppies. They are doing well, as are the snails in this tank, which decided to leave us a present this morning. We have our first mystery snail clutch. We've stuck it in here in a little incubator and we are going to hatch it and see what happens. Now it is their very, very first clutch, so it may not hatch. Um, it may be infertile, but I don't think so. I did see them mating, but we'll find out. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and if I sound tired, it's because I am. <laughs> Just did water changes on everything, and we have charred our betas. Let's take a look at them.
You may also notice that there seems to be an empty tank. Let's, let's have a chat. So, as you guys will know, Lumpy lived in that tank. Uh, on the 15th, the night of the 15th, she gave birth to a handful of baby guppies. I believe there were 14 that lived. There was a couple that were duds. It's obvious that they were born ahead of time. They still had a lot that were underdeveloped. Uh, a lot of them that had their egg sacs still attached. But we did get some that lived. The morning of the 16th, she had a few more, all of which were dead. Uh, our other guppies over here started having some as well. And by noon on the 16th, Lumpy had passed away. We assume it's a combination of her tumor and the stress from giving birth, but she was very bloated. I wouldn't say she had dropsy, but she had a few scales that were sticking out. Not like uniformly, just a few. I don't know, it was really weird. She wasn't acting right. She passed away very, very quickly. Um, I, I just assume it was the stress of giving birth. Um, I did do some minor surgery after she passed to try and rescue what remained of the baby still in her belly. There were five or six of them, but unfortunately, like the others, they were already dead and they were obviously underdeveloped, so there was nothing we could do about it. We have her other babies sitting over here in tank number seven, along with the babies from our other guppies growing out, and hopefully they will do fine, the ones that we got. Like I said, I I don't know. I don't think it's anything we did. I don't think she was necessarily ill, but I do think that the stress of the pregnancy, which is very, very common in guppies, actually. A lot of female guppies die after giving birth. It's a very common occurrence, especially in very young guppies. It's just too much stress on them. And I think it was a combination of that plus her already questionable health because of her tumor that unfortunately led to her passing. Rest in peace, Lumpy. We are keeping her tank empty for now because we haven't decided if there are any of these betas we are going to be keeping or not. Or if there's any more guppies. Um, I believe we still need another six guppies female guppies to round out our tank over here because we have so many males at the moment but luckily we have a lot of female guppies waiting we've also caught a few more male guppies out of our batch and we're just letting them grow out here on their own without the baby bettas for now I will say that putting the the baby male guppies in with the baby bettas was awesome they were relatively the same size and the idea was that the, the baby guppies would teach the baby bettas how to eat things other than live foods. As of this morning, when we went ahead and got them all jarred, um, they will eat anything. They will eat fish flakes, they will eat pellets, they will eat live foods. They will eat snello for our snails. They will eat algae wafers. Like... They seem to not understand that they are carnivores and insectivores and will literally eat anything you put in their tank. Uh, we had one yesterday that found a little sprig of broccoli that had been carried in with the, the zucchini we were giving the snails. And he picked up the little sprig of broccoli in his mouth and carried it all around the tank trying to eat it. It was hilariously adorable. I wish I had filmed it. I should have. It was so cute. But yeah, it, it worked. They will eat anything, which is awesome because when we need to find them new homes and 
adopt them out or sell them. It'll be nice to be able to send them on knowing that they will at least tempt to eat just about anything you put in their tank. They're not going to be like super picky, which we were worried about because we do feed all of our betas live foods constantly on a daily basis. And so the fact that they hadn't eaten any non-live foods was a little concerning. But they're over it. They're good. That is all for now. We will update you probably in a week or so, depending on if anything changes. It may be sooner. But if not, then next week with a better update, and we'll check in on those snail eggs and see what's going on. See you guys next week.